Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be representing data using block graphs, this time focusing on how to read a block graph. This topic is part of the data area of maths and is suitable for children who are 8 years and older. For a quick recap, here are all the birds spotted in the park one day. This data was put into a block graph, starting with the data group, which was the birds. We put in the names of the birds that were spotted. Then along the bottom, a line was put in to show the frequency, or how often the birds were spotted. The block graph was then coloured in with each block filled in representing one of each of the birds that was spotted. Which then turned out to look like this. Now I'd like to see if you can answer these questions. The first question is, how many robins were spotted? The second question is, how many crows were spotted? And the third question, how many blackbirds were spotted? Press pause, see if you can answer these questions, then press play when you are ready. Well done. OK, so here are the answers. Question 1. How many robins were spotted? If we count up the blocks, there were, of course, five robins spotted. How many crows were spotted? There were, of course, four crows spotted. And finally, question 3. How many blackbirds were spotted? If we count up all the blocks, we will find there were, of course, nine blackbirds spotted. Well done. Time now for just three more questions. These are a little bit more difficult. Question 4. How many more blackbirds than magpies were spotted? Question 5. How many fewer sparrows than crows were spotted? And question 6. How many birds were spotted all together? Again, press pause, see if you can answer these questions, and then press play when you are ready. Great work. OK, here are the answers. Question 4. How many more blackbirds than magpies were spotted? Well, we can see here that there were two more blackbirds than magpies spotted. Question 5. How many fewer sparrows than crows were spotted? We can see here there were, of course, Two fewer sparrows than crows spotted. And finally, question six, how many birds were spotted all together? So if you count up all the blocks, you will find that there were, of course, 27 birds spotted all together. Excellent work. You've learned how to read and interpret a block graph. Keep up the great work. See you soon.